Hello and welcome to Norwall Farm. Michael Walsh and Roger Norgal here. We're having an extremely dry fall this year. It's been an unusual year. We had one of the wettest springs on record and now we're having one of the driest falls on record. So we're having an issue a bit with uh, enough grass, enough forage. So we're going to tap into our baleage piles here. We had made two cuttings off of this and uh, we can't really graze that this fall because it's been interceded with uh, pasture mix so we're not supposed to do anything with it till next spring so let it go so anyway we made two cuttings of baleage it's uh, you wrap it in plastic so it ferments and uh, that's what we have here <coughs> uh, the first bale is a bale of just dry hay or straw that serves as a plug there's a <coughs> plug on each end of the row and uh, so there's a machine you just set the bales in and it just uh, wraps it continuously the whole row so uh, that's what we've got here so we're going to open this today and start feeding it this is the bale plug out of this row and you can see it's molded here which is normal um, but that serves as a plug <clears throat> and then the uh, baleage is actually here I've actually already fed one bale out of this but uh, when it gets exposed to air, it can spoil. Ideally, you feed um, feed it all within a day, and it won't spoil. So, uh, well, there's like a half a bale left right here, and I just peel it off, put it in the loader, take it down, and put it in the feeders. And they've really uh, adapted to it really well. They really like it. <clears throat> it's very nutritious. So, uh, we'll go ahead and peel some more off and get that out for them. There are actually 30 layers of plastic on here. It advances an inch each rotation, and the, the ramp is 30 inches long, so there's actually 30 layers of plastic on here sealing this. So basically, we just cut across here, and then down both sides. So it comes out in these big slices, and like I said, this stuff is really wet, so it's heavy. I, that square there, it's probably oh, six inches thick, and it probably weighs 50 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. So we'll break this up and get it on the loader. Good Saturday morning, Michael Walsh here, Norwalk Farm, Roger Norgal. Uh, so next day after we're feeding the baleage. And these are really satisfied. I think they're full. The feeder was empty. There was just barely a little bit left over. So I think right now anyway, one bale will last the sheep and the goats about two days, which is great. But they're eating it really well, which is very encouraging. Um, shortly here we should be able to graze the north field uh, the farmer says he's going to cut it one more time for silage but <clears throat> it's getting awfully late and it's pretty dry we've had a couple of frosts so I'm hoping he doesn't want to cut it and then we can graze that 13 acres which will give us another month maybe six weeks of grazing which would be perfect for us so anyway, I'm really pleased. They, these here are all satisfied. It's laying around chewing their cud. Uh, it's starting to get a little baby bump showing. That you right there. You see that little bulge right there? That's baby bump. So that group is starting to show. There's uh, 10 of those that are bred. And those all got bred to our Suffolk Ram Lamborghini. And, um, Ram was in with them another full cycle after that. So two full cycles and none of them came back in. So we should have babies uh, first part of February. Setting up a stretch of fence here along the hay field. There's our property line there and goes on up there and this is scrub here. So setting this up for the rams and Heidi and the goat kids, there's 12 of them. Give them a little bit of grazing. There we go. 
We got a little grazing. Eating that burdock too, that's good. 